There. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. No one can say Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop <laughs> we should walk around a bit more perhaps today is the day i finally pick one
Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, uh, no. a moment if you would. I will see what you want. Let me open. Repair it. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls. And uh, not to mention. I was happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. <laughs> but I can offer you something. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Siron. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know.
You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> What time, then? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry.
Lumos. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. On another adventure, are we? Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you.
Purge defending Hogsmeade against the Purge. Might some kind soul help me? I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. If only a new student would help me. Lumos, prepare. Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Yes, Natty. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Not. 
I'll give it to you. to go again? I'll give it another. Duelists have already taken notice of you. You'd better keep practicing if you want. I'll let you know when we're ready. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the tree? Of course. 
I'll fetch it and give you a list of company. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your... If you need, stop practicing. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than... Assignments all finished. I doubt Scrivener would stand for that. But if I said it was... I should come back to this another time. Come back to this.
bravery runs in my family. Even cry. Even when my brother. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. your daily profit! Otago! Lumos! I don't see myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. Your acrobatics will only be... Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Rocks have seen better days.
Numos. Levioso. Lumos. Castle must have been quite stately in its time. Hello, do you have anything for sale? That I do, but uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the country. Hi. <laughs> Next. Bit of a wanderer myself. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like... What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety? Something to consider. Thank you for your help. Hi. Let me know if you see some... What do you have for... See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. That's been a pleasure.
Lumos. Lumos. Repair it. Doesn't surprise me you're looking for bravery since you're so short on it yourself. an attack. Oh, so Abandoned long ago, no doubt.
How nice of you to stop by. on Randolph's hands. Lumos.
can't imagine how inconvenient hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by do Excuse me, did you say something about a bard of Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him. I fear he got himself into... I'd help search. Why would Bardolf want to get involved? Oh, he... Ha I think... Do you think Bardolf may have... No. Bard he swore. I can certainly look up. Any help would be a... I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest where... Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's royalists. It's not right. Madam Beaumont. Yes? What a... Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother. Oh, dear daughter. She... Despite my repeated warnings, I thought perhaps he'd get it. I'll let you know. Thank you. What do you have? Bardolf, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Thank you for passing through. I wonder who lives here. Excuse me, Mrs. Sprottle. Any news on Bard? Afraid not. He was last. Looks intriguing.
off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Soul, help me. I trust Mr. Brattleby. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor. Glad to hear it. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry. Your spell casting has impressed. I would rather we not end today's. Let us begin. Concentrate and keep your wand steady.
Good work. Try not to incinerate yourself. If only a new student would help me. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with... Not many students have Victor... I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another... If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fee. <laughs> he can't... He was called away by... You want to show some in... Precisely. You mentioned being... And I am. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. 